now. She's just chewing into that side. looking into this right side. I think she liked running at that angle. Now I know on this one the right side is way worse than the left. So needless to say I'm staying on the left. So on one of the, the, actually I think the first mud hole there, it was burning a lot of oil. We thought it was burning oil. Turns out, uh, about as far as I can tell, that it was so far tipped over onto this side, oil was puking up through the PCV, filled my catch can. You can see that's right to the top with oil. And it actually just puked it out the other side because it had filled and covered all that. I'm surprised my belt was still grabbing because it was basically puking right on the belt, but it was flinging. Yeah, as Bruce pointed out, it's everywhere just threw oil absolutely everywhere, but ran great. Um, problem is I'm down about <laughs> another half a quart of oil. So the plan is we've got a beer can cut off and I'm gonna uh, pull this drain and try to pour the oil back into the motor. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna burn myself. You want a pair of pliers? <laughs> oh, it's got, I can do this. By the way, I'll probably, you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna drop it into the beer can like you do a drain plug and you change oh, oil. Of course. Ooh. Filling, filling, filling. Too full. Well, this is gonna take a couple tries, I guess. Mother's milk. Somebody's. Oh God. <laughs> well, that was pretty much it. <laughs> the beer can capacity is about equal to the catch can capacity. Just about 80% of a beer can. Yeah. What you got. Okay, so you know that holds roughly 10 ounces. Oh shit. The beer can does? I thought they were 12. No, this catch can. Yeah, but oh, yeah. it was cut. Okay, I gotcha. So really, I should be able to fill this with a beer and just run the other side. And just suck a hook. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Talk about drinking and driving. Dude. Yeah. That's such a good idea.
piss out of this thing. And the frame is still essentially stock without any reinforcements in the chassis whatsoever. Just unbelievable to me how well this thing is held up. I mean, as of this video, I think it's going back eight years, I think, maybe nine. Pretty crazy. Let's try a second. Hopefully I don't cover the camera this time. One thing I like about the Murray versus the Sears is uh, to shift the Sears, you gotta stop. Come to a complete stop, change gear, go again. This thing, you can just bang gears all day long. So in that sense, it's a better trail machine. The Sears is a, a definite dominant mud machine. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good hole. Long, very long hole. when he breaks the trail. Uh-oh. I am hung up on the transaxle. Yeah, I can see where she was digging in right there. I don't know if I'm gonna make this one. Definitely hooked now. Uh oh. Oh, my God. The humanity. You made it. Well, let's see if I can replicate that same feat. We're coming out with rooster tails. That steering. And my tire just disappeared. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to cross this. <laughs> Think we can make it in, dude. You just the bumper just went in. I'm not being a very good friend right now. He's got it. I say we pretend that like that never happened. <laughs> just cross the bridge and go where we were going. <laughs> uh, I think it's safe to say I am not trying that. No way. That was terrible.
puking all its oil out. <laughs> all right, hang on, let me get the back first. Which way are you going? Oh. Hey. Holy shit. Dude, this thing's so much lighter than mine. Yeah, it is, you should pick up the back. It weighs nothing. I thought I was stuck. So this is a new trail. Since the last one didn't work out, we decided to keep going on the power line. See what lies ahead. She just quit. ran out of fuel and uh, ended up being the gas line was hanging at a weird angle kind of going down and up so we took a couple zip ties and zip tied it to my uh, PCD breather pretty cool whatever that was um, and it looks like it's got positive flow now so it should be all right Uh, the new filters created a little bit of an air bubble being a pain in the ass so another zip tie to hold the fuel the filter down and kind of tipped you know angled the right way so it actually gets fuel I may end up having to raise the fuel tank or something but this is gonna be tricky going up this hill we're gonna make it even trickier by grabbing a beer Oh yeah, part of my air filter fell off. So now I really gotta make sure I uh, hook up that snorkel. This one says need. Yeah, we need more gas. And we need to get out of here. We're gonna cannonball this hill in second gear. A relatively low idle, because I don't wanna burn tons of gas of going up this steep hill, the float bowl might go dry. Oh, maybe I can go for third. He's going pretty quick. Oh, it's so bouncy. I do not want to die going up this hill. That would suck.
miles an hour. That was the max. So all you that wonder, six inch engine pulley, four inch transaxle pulley. My tires are two inches oversized. No governor, 22 miles an hour. Two miles an hour. I clocked it. Well, we made it back alive and under our own power. I got the Murray loaded up there. She's covered. She made it though. A couple of mishaps, but uh, you know, that's what it's all about working the kinks out. My hands are disgusting, so I'm gonna try to wash them off with the rest of my drinking water. You want me to pour it on your hands? No, I'm gonna do it this way because it's it's more fucked up. Are you still filming? Yeah. I'm getting it all over my feet, so you know. I guess it's a good thing I put sandals on. I should have just left the boots on. Here's Mo Outlaw, his uh, machine. He got. I would say you probably got covered more than I did. You should check him out. I'll leave uh, a link to his channel in the description, as always. Yeah, look at him. He, he did get pasted. We had a fun day. I don't know how many hours of riding we did. At least three. Yeah, probably three. No major breakdowns. No, just messing with my fuel system over and over again. And you had some steering kinks, but other than that, you, you were able to pretty much fix that with your foot. So. Yeah, well, it's all to be had. I got to put the add LT nose in this, at the front end anyway. Yeah. I think I've said it before in your videos. I just still haven't done it. You wait until this one breaks? Oh my god, look at it from this angle. That's supposed to be straight up and down. Yeah, she's that thing a little is tweaked. pushed back and angled this way, it is wasted. Oh well, build it, break it, build it stronger. Yep. So that's gonna do it for us. I got a ton of footage. Hopefully this video isn't too long for you guys. Um, either way, we had fun, so it doesn't matter in the end. It was all good. But, uh, well, we'll catch you in some future romp videos. Stay tuned.